Here at Linus Tech Tips, we know that water cooling needs the cleanest water. We even installed a reverse osmosis filter in our shop to ensure that we'd have it. So when we learned that there are more than 4 billion people around the world without access to safely managed drinking water at home, we realized we needed to be part of something bigger. That is why we're joining forces with Team Water to help them blow past their goal of raising $40 million in just 30 days to provide clean drinking water to millions of people for decades to come. Which got us thinking. How dirty is unfiltered water? Do we even really need clean water for cooling computers? I asked our team to design a bit of a science fair project to find out if water cleanliness really matters when cooling your PC. And right under here are the satisfying results. Which is exactly what business owners can expect when they use our sponsor Odoo's all-in-one suite of business apps for accounting, sales, inventory, and more. It's like having one guy with four arms. How's it going? I'm Odoo. Yep, so. I haven't seen this yet, so this is a big moment. Huh, at first glance anyway, I gotta be honest with you guys, I can't really tell the difference, which is Pretty surprising given that this one here was filtered through a life straw, which is supposed to knock out like 99.99 something percent of the junk in water. And this one came straight from this bucket of pond water. I, um, I'm not 100% sure what I expected to see, but with warm temperatures from the heat of the components, plus sunlight, I don't know, tadpole, algae, something. Did you guys do it right? Pretty sure. We sent David and Justin to the pond and they got some water that looked terrible. There were ducks swimming all over the place. Then we were working on putting these two pretty much identical systems together. We got interrupted by the ice cream van. I got a mango bar. I didn't ask. Fair enough. Anyway, we're kind of as surprised as you at the result here. We even, you know, used transparent tubes. Everything we could have done has been done. And yet, Life didn't find a way. Apparently or, not. No, wait, hold on. <gasps> no, I was looking at it with the wrong color in the background. If we get it just right, it has a tint to it. Mm, a little bit of yellow. Yeah. Grab that paper. Yeah, okay, hold on. Wait, this is sitting right here. You knew. Maybe. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so <laughs> uh, here, here, do you want to hold the one? Yeah. This one, crystal clear. This one, crystal with some inclusions. <laughs> Yellow crystal. It is! I've never been this excited to find dirty water. The question is, how dirty is it? Well, to find out, we got these petri dishes and did a swab test. That's the oh life straw. Oh my god! That's the pond water. That's disgusting! Don't open that, it really stinks. I mean, yeah. I might have the plague now. One quick note, by the way, the tests that you're watching were performed by professional idiots and should not be replicated at home. Growing bacteria, especially if you don't know what it is, for any reason can be extremely dangerous to the health of you, your family, and your pets. Stay safe. These have been sitting in a very makeshift incubator that we built in the writer's room for the last few days. So as it turns out, looks relatively clean and drinkable is still full of microbes and potentially harmful contaminants that, if left unchecked in an environment like, say, your body, or even this water cooling loop for long enough, will grow and can cause serious health issues for both people and for gaming rings. I've got more tests to run too. Oh, sick! But before we do those, we should talk about Team Water. Working with the nonprofit WaterAid, who's been around for as long as Jordan, and have a platinum seal of transparency from GuideStar, Team Water is aiming to raise $40 million in just 31 days. So they're gonna need all the help they can get to raise more than $1 million a day. Go to teamwater.org to donate or to get more information. All right, where were we? You're gonna want those. Oh, okay, I thought you were going somewhere entirely different with this. Not on camera. <laughs> Speaking of, these are tests for fecal coliform bacteria. Well, first, why don't we show them the water test that we got? <laughs> Fair enough. We got this well water test kit from Canadian Tire. Dead simple, we just dip these test strips into our reservoirs. It'll change color depending on what's in the water. We match it up to the colors. Oh, cool. Okay, so should I give it a shot? Give it a go. Okay. This is Life Straw. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, and whoop! 
Total hardness, a little hard. Got some hard water. No chlorine, that's good. No iron, I guess. Copper content, acceptable. Nitrate, none. Nitrite, none. Nice! We're a little bit on the harder side, which is something that you can be concerned about when you're taking water from a well, but everything else seems to be well within the safe range. You know, there's no chlorine in our water supply, for instance. Okay, I'm gonna fold it this way this time. And a one, two, boop. Total hardness, reasonable. Chlorine, iron, fine. Copper, fine. Nitrates and nitrites are fine. Fine, 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 and fine. And as expected, bacterial growth is not gonna affect any of these elements. So if we were to sterilize this water, it should probably be pretty safe for drinking. And the sterilization is key. They thought of that. The kit also included this test for bacteria, and we bought a second one so we could do both systems. Okay. These will test for fecal coliform bacteria. That sounds like a bad bacteria. You don't, you don't want to have it. Basically, if they turn green or bluish tint, that's positive test. Okay. So here you go. So Change you're telling results. me, wait a second, you're telling me this is the healthy one? That's the good one. I mean, I guess it doesn't really look like it came from uh, water that I would want to drink. It looks like uh, we might have got it from... Uh... You got a Reese? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is this how I find out that we're doing employee drug testing? They don't tell you everything anymore. Anywho, uh, we took these samples about 30 hours ago, and while this one might look like the more appetizing one, that's bad. That's poop. That's poop. Poop bacteria. Yeah. Don't drink that. I mean, I wouldn't drink that either personally, but... <laughs> That's fair. Of course, we haven't proven that duck shit will affect gaming performance yet. <laughs> of course, none of this proves that duck shit will impact our FPS. So, <laughs> to follow through with our experiment, we are going to now game on our two systems to see if they perform the same. All right, Jordan, truthfully, I'm not expecting a difference in the actual performance of these machines. Yeah. If we were gonna see any kind of difference, it would be in the temperatures because while the water is still relatively clear, that doesn't tell us what our blocks are gonna look like. The insides of our blocks could easily end up gunked up because they tend to have really, really tight fins in them that can actually kind of filter out some of the microbes that are floating around in the loop. That doesn't mean the loop is clean, it just means that the water might look relatively clear, even though there's a lot of gunk that grew in it and it's gumming up the blocks. So I'm at about just over 30 degrees on my CPU. Where are you at? I got uh, yeah, just under 30, over 30 now, hovering right around there. Uh, 27 on my GPU and I'm dead. Yeah, I'm about the same. My GPU is a little over 30 degrees, but ugh, the mounting for GPU water blocks is so inconsistent that I really wouldn't read that much into that. Yeah, we're close enough that this really doesn't matter. But it's worth noting that even at two months long, this is still a relatively short-term test. And I strongly believe, based on what we've seen today, that if you were to leave a dirty water loop like this running over an extended period of time, let's say six months to a couple of years, it would absolutely gunk up, become contaminated, and ultimately cost you a lot of time and or money to go in and clean or replace your parts. So in conclusion, let's go Team Water. Check out the link in the video description so you guys can help contribute to this amazing initiative to get millions of people clean drinking water. And let's get millions of people this segue. Odu, pause that please. I'm Odu. Okay, so the concept here is that Odoo has all of the apps you need to run your business, integrated CRM, project management, point of sale, even building your own custom app. Uh, Odoo can do all of that. So it's like a guy with eight arms. But he's only got four arms. Yeah, but uh, that's only because if we showed a guy with eight arms, then, you know, that would look, it would look kind of weird. This looks weird. Well, okay, yeah, but it's, uh, it's to illustrate you know, the metaphor. Which is what? That Odoo's full suite of business apps is all you need to run your business. It's got everything you want. I want to see a guy with eight arms. Uh, fine, fine. Um, okay, show the guy with eight arms. No! Why? Oh, no. Oh, I, I was wrong. Yeah, no, no, no to that. Get a free 15-day trial of Odoo's all-in-one business solution and see how it can make your life easier. I'm Odoo. If you guys enjoyed this video, why don't you go check out the one we did for Team Trees years ago. We made a tree planting cannon. It didn't work.
Unless our goal was to raise money for tree planting, then it did work. <laughs>